Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When working with documents, you will often want to move or copy text or other selected document elements from one place to another. Word makes this frequent occurrence easy to manage through the use of the clipboard feature. If you click the Home tab in the ribbon, you will see the clipboard group at the left end. In this group, you will see the Cut, Copy, and Paste command buttons that allow you to move or copy text within your document. Note that these same buttons are also used to move or copy other selectable document elements, like clip art for example. In addition to using the command buttons, there are also other ways to copy and paste selected text and objects in your documents. You can use your mouse or keyboard to cut, copy, and paste selected document elements as well. These functions are so important in Word that there are multiple ways of performing these tasks. Therefore, there's no single right way to do it. You simply use the method that you prefer. Now, if your goal is to move a selection, either selected text or a selected document element, from one location to another within the document, then you will use the cut function before you paste the data. Now, if your goal is to copy a selection and then paste the copy to one or more locations elsewhere within the document, then you want to use the copy function before you paste the data. Now, there are a few tips you should know about cutting and pasting, which is moving, or copying and pasting, which is copying text. First, you should know that if you display the office clipboard, then you may cut or copy multiple objects before pasting them by using the office clipboard as temporary storage for the items that you cut or copied. If you do not use the clipboard, then if you cut or copy an object or text, and then cut or copy another element without pasting the first one, you will lose the first item that you selected to cut or copy. This makes using the office clipboard a wise choice. You can display the clipboard, by clicking the Clipboard Pane Launcher button in the lower right corner of the Clipboard group on the Home tab in the ribbon. Also, when using the clipboard, you will find that when you paste content from the clipboard, it will not be immediately cleared from the Office Clipboard. The Office Clipboard will hold that object until you close the program or clear the clipboard. Therefore, once you copy an object, you can paste it over and over again. You can even paste document elements into other Microsoft Office applications, like Microsoft Excel or Microsoft PowerPoint, for example. Now second, remember that the undo button can fix most mistakes that you make. So as you learn to cut, copy, and paste text and objects, make sure that you keep that fact in mind. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.